Hi everyone, so now we will learn that how we can create dynamic radio buttons in React Native. And guys, if you have not watched our recent video, which is a static radio button, then I will recommend you to watch that first because we will continue the last part here. In last part, we learned that how we can create static radio buttons and how we can make a style for radio buttons in React Native. And this is the output of last video. But here you can see that there are static uh, radio buttons, which we just uh, mentioned there, right? here you can see that two touchable opacities and these are the actual radio buttons but now we want to make dynamic radio buttons so now we will have a complete array of skills or it could be anything like hobbies skills or whatever you want to do right and after that we will make a loop over this array and we will put our radio button inside that and after that we will apply a small logic so that we can check and uncheck or you can say that select or deselect the radio buttons all right so how we can do that now let's start it and again i will recommend you to watch last video because if you haven't watched last video then maybe you will miss some uh, important logical part there right so this is our emulator and uh, here you can see that we have two touchable opacities so i am just uh, removing the one of them i don't need that right and uh, let me just refresh it once and while this is refreshing, what I'm going to do, I am just creating an array of skills, right? And let's say skills could be inside the object. So ID of first object, let's say one and skill name could be, let's say PHP. Second one, for second one, I am just copying this. And pasting some time. Like this let's just put the id2 for java uh, 3 for let's say sql and uh, let's say 4 for uh, cpp and all right and now you can just cut this uh, touchable opacity for a moment right and let me simply use their skills dot map function I already told you that how skill uh, how map function is actually works so you can watch our recent video again if you are not aware about the map function link is given in the description box for complete playlist all right so now let's put their touchable opacity and here you can see that we have some copies of radio buttons but we have to make some dynamic changes there first thing here you can see that we have warning each child in a list have unique key so how we can just create a unique key we have two parameters inside the map function first one is index second one item second one is index so use this index as a key and if you are well aware about this if uh, you've already worked on react js also right because um, react js need a unique key for uh, element while this is used inside the loop okay after that what we need to do there uh, you can just change this static radio one to the dynamic name it could be item dot name like we have a name with the every skill so we can use that and here we go here we has all skills perfect so the next thing is that we need to do oh here you can see that all checkboxes are selected which is not possible actually right so what we need to do there we have to match if selected value has same item uh, same value of item dot id right but only first item have the same value because first item has one id and by default value of uh, select radio is one okay so what we need to do here so let's say you want to select the second one or third one the check then what you need to do there uh, you just pass there item dot id while you are updating the selected radio and now it will work perfectly fine because let's say you are just pressing on the third item for sql right that time the value of selected this one uh, selected radio will be three and uh, it will perfectly match with the item dot id for uh, skill uh, for sql because the both have the id three right so let's try and it will be obviously selected here you can see that right 
so that's all let's say if you have a uh, fifth element also still it will work completely fine let's say you have uh, the js also there with id 5 keep in mind id should be unique for each and every element and here you can see that this is perfectly working fine so that's all for this part and if you still have any query question you can ask me in the comment box and please guys support me by subscribe my channel like this video and share your feedback in comment section and this is my uh, paytm donation number thank you guys thank you again